Alright, can you let the car out of the bag already? You're killing me with suspects. What's up with you? I want to propose to Daniela. What? <laughs> What's funny? When did you learn how to make jokes like this? I saw on my father's grave. I'm serious. Really? Yes, really. Wow. Uh, wow, I'm so happy. Like I'm the happiest man hearing this from you. You see, I am... Um, well, thank you very much for that and... Um... Good day, sir. Um, good day, Mr. Ize. Hi. So here's the file you sent to me. So what do you think about the proposal? Not bad at all, sir. But I think you should give it a second thought. Our company has gotten to a height. Our strategist has to be top notch. Inda is a modifier strategy we can use. Go through it and get back to me, sir. Well, I, uh, I trust your judgment. Go ahead and execute. It's your company. Are you... Are you alright? You look pale. Um, I'm, I'm well, sir. Did you see her charisma? Huh? I see that every day. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Wow. Trust me, girlfriend. His uncle is the only person I am waiting for. Once he comes back, <laughs> I'll just hear what the useless cheat has to say and I'm gone for good. <clears throat> uh <-huh. laughs> Does it look like I'm going to cry for that idiot anymore? Babes, I am done crying. The only thing that matters to me now is my, oh, look at him smiling. <laughs> My dear, the only thing that matters to me right now is my son. You... Let me call you back. Okay. Oh, look at him smiling. You are smiling. Smile for Here Jesus. Can I have a word with you? Mm. Smile for Jesus! Smile for Jesus! Don't let the devil come close to you, baby. Smile for Jesus! Uh, hey, Rebel. Smile for Jesus! Smile for Jesus! <laughs> Uh, well, let's clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. <laughs>
Are you right? You've asked that earlier and I told you that I'm fine. I'm just curious to know what exactly we are celebrating. We're not celebrating anything in particular. We're just there. Alright. Please, can I go now, sir? Ella. You see, I've always had this impression that every woman is a wolf in sheep's clothing. But you have proven to me beyond every reasonable doubt that I have been wrong all these years. And so, I want to ask you right here and right now, will you be my wife and make my life complete? wrong with her. Please, calm down, okay? All right, fine. I'm calm. Talk to me. Look, your level of panicking is too much and that's not even good for your health. I said I'm calm. Please, relax so that I can talk to you. <sighs> now, I would like to know what's your relationship with this patient? Well, she's my staff. And also my fancy. Are you going to look at my face all day before telling me what the hell is wrong with her? Doc! Father! Father! Sassy, what is it? Father, you look tense! It is the prince. The prince proposed to a girl, Elia. What? How? When? Not one of my life! Father, you have to calm down, okay? On the process, the girl collapsed and was rushed to a nearby hospital. From the information I've gathered so far, she has a um, chronic heart disease. She will not stay long. Yes, they say she, she doesn't have uh, enough life to live. May the gods be praised. At least our ancestors support our expedition. <laughs> but father, father, you, you still need to do something, father. Yes, you need to dive into action. Tell Ono to go ahead with the ritual ceremony. There is no time. You just confirmed that the girl is dying soon. Eh? Father, but soon is not today. Yes, she's dying soon. And that's the, 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 the medical report. It doesn't mean that she's dying today. Okay, think about this. What if the prince goes on to marry her? What then happened? They will ascend the throne. One because what, what about us? What about you? I thought we need to do something about this plan. Think about this. You have a point there. Eh? Uh-huh. Yeah, but the Daniel I know will not stoop so low for such a marriage. Eh? Father, Father, never say never. Anything can happen. The Daniel is a man. He can do it. Well, we gave him two weeks ultimatum. After which we revisit him. Until then, son, we must tread with caution. Ah. Father will be inside.
ماست Why is it now that I have found love and peace? I cannot keep them. I will not stand and watch my peace fade away. The only reason I have stayed back in this house is because of the respect I have for you. If not, believe me, I would have been long gone. Do you know what I went through in the hands of this man? There was nothing I did not do to make this marriage work, but this idiot seated here would not even let it happen. Am I going to talk about his continuous beating? His rejection of my food? Uncle, I was sex starved for a year and counting. I can't, I, I, can't, I can't even start to mention. And then to make it worse, he had the cuts to frolic with another woman and even denied it after I caught him red-handed in the woman's house. Huh. I'm done. I am completely done. I am not doing this anymore. I am leaving him. Diamond. I'm Are you sure you're okay? How can you cheat on your beautiful wife? Eh? A woman, every other man, I envy of her beauty. Eh? Uncle, I swear, I never cheated on my wife. Oh, really? You did not cheat on me. Hey. <laughs> Uncle, you know what? I don't even have time to banter words with him. I am going to leave you and that is what will happen. I am not going to stay under the same roof with you. Honey, please, you don't need to leave. But believe me, I never cheated on you. Well, you can go ahead and live with your lies. Die with your secret if that is what you want. Uh, uh, Diamond. Are you telling me now that your wife is lying? Is she lying? Well, there's no problem. There is only one way for you to prove your innocence. We all will march to the goddess of purity. Then there, you swear that you have never cheated on your wife. And your wife will also swear that she has never cheated on you. I hope you know the consequence. Any of you that are guilty will die. That's it. Uncle, Uncle, can we just get going already? Let's get going because I don't know what we're waiting for. It has not really come to that point. We, we don't need to march to the shrine. I have a confession to make. Then go ahead. Right. I was worried. Worried and scared. I was thinking you're going to change your mind. I almost did. Because what you're asking for is morally wrong. I know, I know, but you are the friend that I have. I believe you are not trusting you, that is why I am asking you to do this for me. I know you wouldn't want your friend to go into extinction, would you? Diamond, do you think I'll be able to leave with this guilt? 
Bro, please. Go ahead and do it. The substance that I gave to her lasts for three hours. Which one of our 30 minutes has gone? Please. Don't waste time. Go ahead and do it. Mirabel, please find it in your heart to forgive me for this evil I'm about doing to you. Diamond, the moment she takes in, I'm leaving this country. Accepted. It happened two more times before she took in, but she never found out what happened. Abomination. Diamond, you mean you did all this? Hi! Get my dead body. I am sorry. I did it when I found out that I cannot father a child. You are sorry. Diamond, did I, did I hear you say that you are sorry? I was scared. Shut up. You did this to me, yet you were melting out anger on me? <laughs> like I committed an abomination. You made my life a living hell. Because of your own stupidity. Jesus. Oh God. I'm not going to spend another minute under his roof. I am leaving. <laughs> because anybody who can actually do this to a woman he claims to love. I can't kill that person. You are a monster. A human form. I am sorry. I was scared. Scared that you're going to leave me. All the maltreatment I gave to you was a cover up. I stopped eating your food. I stopped sleeping with you. Because if I do any of those, trust me, I will be a dead man according to the custom and tradition of our people. Please. Baby. One more uh, word from you, I will hit you so hard. Please, just. You are a bastard. Step again, please. Don't leave me. Please. <sighs> don't go, please. Mark this today. For everything. For everything you did to me. I swear to God. You will be. Sorry, babe, babe, honey. Babe. I... Uncle, help me beg her not to leave me, please. Diamond, you are a disgrace to your late parents and to our family. Nonsense.
Do you know this idiot? This bastard had the guts to give my body to his friend. He drugged me without, without even thinking of my health condition. God. It's fine. It's okay. The most important thing is that the truth is out. Yes. You are out from that cursed marriage. Trust me, you will come around. See, I am done. I am done. I... I am broken. You can't be done. <laughs> My love. My love, please. You need to calm down. See, life they say is slow but steady. Just like a snail. Trust me, you're fine. Please. You'll come around. God, this is so painful. It's okay. You <laughs> see, this is so painful. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. Trust me. You're a strong woman. Remember? Samson, what do you think you are doing? Will you shut up? Do I look like I'm joking with you? Now you listen to me. You will lead out the Ikombe ceremony tomorrow. Huh? If you want to see the next day. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, you want to do what your father couldn't try. Huh? Let me advise you, son. Hmm? Desist from following your father's evil footsteps. How dare you? How dare you call my father evil in front of me? If you ever try this again, I swear to God, I'll kill you! I'll kill you right here! I can see inner peace, even in the face of death. Take my advice now that you have the time. See, I'm old. I have nothing to lose, nothing. Old man, do we have a deal or not? Hmm? Hmm? I said we have with you! The only deal I have with you is your relevance. Dagger. Dagger, I see this old man is messing with us. Killed him. What about giving him more time? I you mad! I said, take this man some lesson now! Go ahead! Doc. I can no longer watch her fade away. While I'm still alive. It's... It's going to kill me. I will not survive it. She's deteriorating fast. Please. I want you to examine my heart. I want to be her donor. What? Yes. I'm... You can't do that. No. There's no way you're going to do that. Oh, please. Give me more time to make some calls and see what happens. Okay? Doc! What are you doing? You need to get a hold of yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I overreacted. Just that my son would have been of the same age with you. You remind me so much of him. But like I said earlier on, just give me a few days to make some calls. I'm sure something will come up, something positive. Okay. Old man, you see this? 
you are either going to drink it peacefully or we'll force you to drink it. I'm not afraid of he that can kill the body and not the soul. But I'm afraid of he that can kill the body and the soul. Save yourself from the impending doom that is about to befall you. Uh, bye, I want now. Dagger. Boss. Feed him. Dagger, feed him, feed him! Feed him up. Open your mouth, look. Open your mouth. Come on, put your mouth in your mouth. Feed him, your mouth. Good man, open your mouth. It's juicy. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in law's company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? By like now looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refuse, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why, why, why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? Why have you not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell-bent on making this house unbearable for him? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love him, will he employ your brother as his general manager? He had a nerve to arrest my own brother. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You said that my brother, Frank here, killed my own husband. Your own foolish man. What? Useless man. I am going to deal with this brother of yours so much so that when he sees me coming from one end of the road, he's going to run into the bush. Adaku has the guts to call me evil. I'm sorry, but I must tell you to your face. You are wicked. Whether you like it or not, that wicked brother of yours is going to prison. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I will keep repeating it to you that I am willing to fight. And I will fight with everything in me. 